what can you do when your products or services absolutely don't sell? Here's the scenario. you got an absolute doozy. You spend hours and hours and hours slaving away, building this product, creating this offer, this service. You built the landing page and the funnel and everything, and you put it out there, and it is crickets. How do you fix it? What you should be doing? And what did you do wrong? More on that in just a second. My name is Beate Chalette. I'm the growth architect. And in this video, I want to take you through some of the most commonly made mistakes when it comes to developing products and services. So let's cut straight to the chase. In your very first piece of creating a product or service, or how we call it in growth architecture, the offer, it is the second step of the five-star success blueprint. You have to go back to the first step of the blueprint. And the first step is the idea. So here's what happens. Most of the time I see this with coaches, consultants, experts, business owners, they have this idea of that somebody needs something. So I'm gonna give you an example. There is this great idea that a lot of people that have been completely blown out uh, emotionally and physically and mentally in COVID that they need a lot of help. And so people go out and they create products and services, a lot of services, coaching, consulting, because they feel that way. So they create something that they think would help them. And then they go out and they put it out and say, it's so powerful, it really helps people, but nobody's buying it. And that is because a fatal error has been made. People that are sliding into these problems oftentimes do not have the skill set to get themselves out of it. And they do not even have the skill set or the recognition. They just know something is wrong. When somebody says something is wrong, they do usually one out of two things. They either let their relationship go south or they quit their job. Because other than that, there is nothing else to do. Because it is very difficult for most people to look at themselves and say, the problem is with me. And now I'm going to start changing what I have control over, which is myself. It's always easier to change everything else so that you don't have to look at yourself. That's why a lot of these services are not working because the person that needs it doesn't have the awareness level that you had when you created it. So a lot of these things go south. So what do you do instead? You really have to look at who your buyer is. Who are the people that you want to sell to? And you need to do something what I call crawl into their head. And really look around in inside their head and say, what is it that that is going on in their head? What are they worried about? What are they putting money down? And I will tell you what they're putting money down for. They're putting money down for the education of their children. They're putting money down for vacations. That's important. But self-development is if you pay it out of pocket and you're not an entrepreneur, oftentimes not high on someone's agenda. So you need to be making a very, very compelling a value proposition in order for somebody like that to buy that service. So what you should instead, what, what you should do instead is you need to really think about this person's, their needs, their wants, their desires, how they're spending money, what they typically do, and really become familiar with who they are and then predict the buying behavior. They have an understanding of what it is that they want. And that is what you have to create because otherwise you can't sell them something that they need that they're not aware of needing. That might be important to fix, but if they don't understand that, you, you, you it's, it's pointless. You see where I'm going with this? Put it in the comments if you get this because this is so absolutely ridiculously critical to understand. You cannot sell somebody something that they are themselves not aware that that's a problem that they're having. Their problem is that they're depressed. Their problem is that their boss is mean to them. Their problem is that somebody hates them or that they're getting bullied all the time. That's their problem. Their problem is not that they have a complete screwed misconception of who they are. I mean, who would even ever admit that? So go back to the first step of the five-star success blueprint and really take a look at the offer and say, what is it if I have this offer 
that solves the first problem, which is the idea. What's the idea? Who is it? What do they need? What problems are they having? Where are they at? Why am I right, the right person to sell to them? That's what you need to answer first. And then you can create the offer because then the offer really solves their problem. If you need help with that, go schedule an uncovery session. We have a mastermind, a four-week mastermind that we specifically created for products and services to help you turn that talent of yours in a product or a service that actually sells. Reach out. We're here to help. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, Shalette. Thank <laughs> you.